Hi folks, here's gonna be a little tutorial on a wrap up to the birdhouse project. I want you to create essentially a one page sheet that uh, we can use to maybe hang up and display our work. So to do that, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a Word document. So just go ahead and search for Word on the computer and bring it up. And then what I would like you to do is go back and find a picture that you really drew inspiration from for your birdhouse. So for me, I'm just going to go to Google and I'm going to type in falling water and I'll go to images and this is kind of the house I drew a lot of inspiration from. So I'm actually just going to grab an image here. Uh, I would like it to be a pretty nice image. So under tools, we can change the size to kind of large and then you can actually look at pictures that are high resolution. So there's this one right here. Um, pretty high resolution. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go ahead and save this image and it's called Falling Water. Fantastic. Just kind of note the name and I'm going to save that. I'm going to go into Word and now in Word I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to insert this picture. So I went to my downloads. There it is. I'm going to insert this in and I'm going to do a few things. So one, with the picture selected under format, I'm going to make the wrap text to be in front of text. And then this is going to allow me to make it larger. And I'm just going to make it large enough where it covers the entire bounds of the paper. Now, that's kind of going to be the backdrop to what I need. So next, I am going to uh, go to format picture and uh, go to artistic effects here and click a picture and then just give it like a, just a kind of a artistic effect, you know, kind of blurring the picture out of it. We just kind of want that in the background and we don't want that to be a focal point. Um, now that we have this here, we are going to go ahead and insert a little text box. So I'm gonna grab a simple text box and I'm going to kind of move that eh, maybe down over here. And I'm going to replace this with a picture. I'm going to say Frank Lloyd Wright. And I'm going to say imagined by, and then your name. So oh, I'm going to grab this and I'm actually going to format it a bit. I'm going to make that centered. I'm going to increase the size a little bit, maybe make it bold so it stands out. And if you click the text box, we can, do, uh, we can do some other things to it as well. So I can change like the size of borders, um, if there's any fill to it. So right now I have a solid line, that's kind of my border. And I can change the width. And you can see here, if I do that, go to like say four, it makes it a nice little border in there and we can move that around to different places if need be. Um, now what I'm gonna do is, once I kinda got my template, I'm gonna bring in a couple pictures of my birdhouse. So in SketchUp, here I am in SketchUp, I'm gonna go to my tray on the right, components, and in our 3D warehouse, I'm gonna type in leafy tree two, and I'm gonna find this one by Jeffrey C. I'm just gonna click on it, and it's gonna insert this big tree I'm just going to kind of put it somewhere for right now. Then I'm going to select my birdhouse and I'm going to move that kind of to look like it's in the tree a bit. So kind of have to play around with it a bit where I'm going to put it. So maybe somewhere right there. Nice little background. And since some of yours aren't always asymmetric, now that I have this here, I am going to open the snipping tool. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go snipping tool, new, and I'm just going to take a relatively decent sized box. You know, we don't want to go too much in this case. Um, oh, it grabbed a lot of selection there, which I do not like. So let me try it again, new. Yeah, make sure that we're not actually clicking on anything. So it showed like the highlighted edges of the tree. So just make sure you're not clicked when you go ahead and select this. So this is one picture. I'm gonna go ahead and click the save snip button. 
and you can save this right into wherever. Right now I'm going to put it on the uh, desktop so I have easy access to it for me. And I'll just call this Birdhouse 1. Go back to here, and I'm going to go to Insert Picture again. And go to where I placed it. Oh, let's get rid of that. Uh, so let me do that again. I'm going to show you because there's a little problem. When I brought it in here, you can see that it's here. Well, if I right click right away, I can bring that to the very front or I can bring things to the back. So I want my big picture right here. I might send that to the back. trying to get it all the way in the back. And then I want the other picture right here. So let's see here. I'll move that out of the way a bit and click here. You know what? I think we got to change this so it's in front of the text. Then I can bring this to the front. There we go. So you kind of see how that went. So I guess the first thing, I'll, we'll, we'll get another picture in here so you can see how that works. So I have that. Now I can go back. I'm going to go to a line, a solid line. And I'll also give that a four-point weight. And then again, I'll just kind of click off and see what, what it looks like, which I like it there. So let's try another view. So let's grab another view here. And I'm going to move the birdhouse just a bit. I just want to see the other side. So maybe somewhere right there. Uh, I'll grab the snipping tool. New snip. Can't do a new snip. I need that up. So new snip. And kind of the same idea. I'm going to grab that. Save this. I'll save this as birdhouse two. So I'm not overwriting this picture. Ah, oh, I did the same thing. Uh, cancel. I need to be careful when I click new. Uh, why is that happening? There we go. Save that over Birdhouse 2. There we go. So now back in here, I'll insert the picture again. Now Birdhouse 2. Uh, when that inserts in, I would say go ahead right away and go in front of text. And it will drag it right there. And then I'm just going to resize it a bit. And then under the paint icon, solid line. And I can change that to four as well. Again, giving it in there. Uh, what I might do is move this down a bit. And uh, I might want a, a, a third picture in here that will be maybe from the top view. Because I don't really see one of the biggest things that I really enjoyed about mine, which was kind of the top view of that. So I might do that. And then, again, just kind of have a background there. All right, insert my last picture, three. Move that in front. And there we go. So kind of have three pictures there, uh, two different views. I make sure I get the top. Um, I would say do maximum of three views. But then uh, you can actually take this. You can save this and print it out and hand it to your teacher. And it's kind of a nice little memento of the project. And we can use this to hang up some of the nice ones. Uh, thank you.